summer, Hanshin Koshien Stadium in Nishinomiya City, Hyogo Prefecture, becomes the stage for a drama that grips the entire nation. Here, high school baseball teams from across Japan, who have made it through regional qualifiers, assemble to compete for the national championship. Fans in the stands and back home go wild with excitement. Yu Darvish, Hideki Matsui, Daisuke Matsuzaka, and many other Japanese players who have gone on to play Major League Baseball in the US made their names at Koshien as youth players. They got their start here. In the century of high school baseball in Japan, there have been many unforgettable moments. An epic 18-inning game is considered Koshien's greatest ever. Where are the players now? And some players continue to chase the Koshien dream decades after graduating. Such is the allure of Koshien Stadium. On this edition of Begin Japanology, we look at high school baseball, how it is more than just a sport, and why it captivates the Japanese imagination like nothing else. Hello and welcome to Begin Japanology. I'm Peter Barakan. I'm in Hanshin Koshien Stadium near Osaka. It's the home of the Hanshin Tigers, one of Japan's 12 professional baseball teams. But the stadium was originally built for high school baseball, and it's become a kind of holy ground which every high school baseball player aspires to set foot on. Baseball is one of the most popular sports in Japan, but even compared with professional baseball, the popularity of high school baseball is quite staggering. I can remember when I first came to Japan, and I was working in an office. During the tournament, the television switched on permanently, and just about everybody was glued to it. On today's program, we're going to take a look at what it is that makes the Japanese quite so passionate about high school baseball. The National High School Baseball Championship is held each August. Over a period of 15 days, 850,000 spectators descend on Koshien Stadium. The stands overflow with groups of cheering fans. Their intensity rivals that of the players themselves. Every game from every day of the tournament is broadcast live around the nation. No other amateur sport in Japan receives this kind of coverage. Live broadcasting of the event began in 1953. Ever since, the Japanese public has been transfixed by high school ball players battling for the championship. Its TV rating share once hit 48%. High school baseball is a genuine national institution. The tournament is contested by teams from schools representing all of Japan's 47 prefectures. The stands are filled with supporters whose cheering incorporates regional flourishes. This is the famous Nebuta festival dance of Aomori. These supporters are clacking rice paddles. Hiroshima's signature products. Even people who have moved away from their hometowns feel a surge of local pride when the Koshien Championship rolls around. They are emotionally invested in their home prefecture's representative school. The Koshien Championship is a single elimination tournament. Every play is potentially the difference between victory and defeat. This is one reason for the tournament's popularity. Some high school ball players become celebrities in their own right. Waseda Jitsugyo High School was the 2006 champion. Their pitcher, Yuki Saito, had a habit of quietly wiping the sweat from his face with a handkerchief during games. This became his beloved signature move, and he was nicknamed the Handkerchief Prince. 
Fresh new heroes like Saito add to the popularity of high school baseball. There is another reason why the Japanese are so passionate about high school baseball. When baseball first came to Japan from the US in the late 19th century, it became popular initially among university students. There were many incidents of students becoming so focused on baseball that they neglected their studies. This led to a negative public perception of baseball. And so a new approach to the game was adopted. Baseball would be used as part of a well-rounded education. In 1915, as part of this trend, the first National High School Baseball Championship was held. High school baseball in Japan is about more than simply winning games. It is itself a forum for education, a place for creating young men of integrity and mental toughness. For example, formal greetings are exchanged before games. In traditional Japanese martial arts like kendo and judo, bouts begin and end with a bow. This was also adopted in Japanese baseball. National heroes, hometown pride and the spirit of Japanese martial arts all contribute to high school baseball's passionate following in Japan. Over here is the museum of Koshien Stadium. It's within the stadium complex and it opened two years ago. It has a mission to share the history of the stadium, which goes back over 80 years, with future generations. This year marks the 94th edition of the summer tournament. That's longer than Japanese professional baseball has been around. And during that long span, the tournament has played host to a number of legendary games. Many people say that the greatest high school baseball game ever played in Japan took place during the third round of the 1979 tournament between Seiryo High School of Ishikawa Prefecture and Minoshima High School of Wakayama Prefecture. Now, for the benefit of those who've never seen a baseball game, the teams take turn at bat and the object is to score more runs than your opponent during the allotted nine innings. However, at the end of nine innings, if the score is tied, the game goes on. This is what it looked like after nine innings. By the end of the game, they had gone to an astonishing 18 innings, which was the maximum allowed at that time. Let's take a look at what happened. In Kanazawa, a city in Ishikawa, lives one of the players involved in the legendary Koshien game of 1979. Naoki Kato was the first baseman for Seiryo High School. That was a game that only the gods could have planned. I'll never forget it as long as I live. It was 33 years ago on August the 16th, 1979. The game began a little after 4 p.m. in the stifling afternoon heat. The game was deadlocked at one run apiece after nine innings. Extra innings began. 6 p.m. rolled around and the lights were turned on. A day game turned into a night game. The game sparked to life in the top of the 12th inning with Seiryo batting. Minoshima's second baseman failed to field a routine grounder. Seiryo scored a run on the play. In the bottom of that inning, Minoshima was batting, facing two outs and no runners on base. One more out would win the game for Seiryo. But instead, Minoshima got a solo home run and the battle was back on. The game stretched on. Then came the top of the 16th. Seiryo took the lead again with a clutch base hit. In the bottom of the 16th, Minoshima came to bat and Seiryo got two quick outs. Once again, Seiryo was just one out away from victory. 
田はライトに痛烈なヒットを放ちました And then came the fateful pop-up. It came towards Kato, who was manning first base. If Kato had caught that ball, the game would have been over. But Kato somehow tripped in foul territory, and the ball cruelly slipped out of his grasp. I was right under where the ball was dropping, so I looked up one more time to spot it, and for just an instant I lost sight of it. Just as I bent my knees, I saw the ball again and thought, there it is, and then I tripped. Immediately afterwards... On the very next pitch, the batter hit a home run. For the second time, Inoshima had tied the score with two outs pulling back from the brink. Ultimately, the game reached the 18th inning, the maximum permitted by tournament rules. And then... Minoshima scored the walk-off run. After four hours of play, with the teams neck and neck the whole way, the game was over. The next day, newspapers carried headlines like Unfortunate Stumble and Kato's Costly Drop Ball. Even after graduating from high school, the fly ball incident dogged Kato. Wherever he went, he would meet someone who remembered the play. Kato has always felt that he was responsible for the defeat of his hometown team. People around me thought they shouldn't even mention high school baseball in my presence. I sense that very strongly at my work. So I made a point of just bringing up the game myself. From his house, Kato can see the field where Seiryo High School practices. He knows exactly what those players go through. But he remained estranged from his own former teammates for a long time. One man who never forgot about Kato was Tadashi Bito, the coach of Minoshima High School, the team who defeated Seiryo in the epic 18-inning game. Each team battled with everything they had. And for that reason, all of the players, the players from Seiryo and the players from Inoshima, were all like brothers in arms, all comrades. Always, even all these years after the game, they share that bond. They'll always feel like that, that they share a special bond. In 1994, 15 years after the legendary game, there was a reunion of players from the Minoshima and Seiryo teams. They would have a rematch. Urged by his old teammates to take part, Kato put on the uniform for the first time in years. During this rematch, that Kato had mixed feelings about, the final at bat was taken by Coach Bito, of all people. His fly ball went to Kato at first base, and this time Kato held on to it, ending the game. Fifteen years later, Seiryo High School. After the game, Bito sent this card to Kato. Whether rocks or roots or fly balls to first, the stream flows on and on. Today, Kato coaches a youth baseball team in Ishikawa, where he grew up. When the children ask me what Koshien is like, I tell them, 
Only people who've been there can really understand. I can't explain it, but it's wonderful. And you should try to get there if you can. Since that reunion game, players from the two teams have been getting together regularly, enjoying a bond that goes deeper than just being old rivals on the baseball field. Last year, coach Bito from Minoshima died. Many players from both teams attended his funeral where they replayed footage from the epic 18-inning game. Where I am now is a part of Koshien Stadium that's not normally open to the public. I'm being given a tour of the facilities by one of the groundskeepers here, Mr. Kenji Kanazawa. Kanazawa-san, thank you for helping out today. This is a kind of closet. What are these things down here? Uh, these are rakes that we use to smooth the dirt on the field. Lots of groundskeepers here. This is my own rake. Some groundskeepers are tall and some not so tall. Also, how you lean forward varies from person to person. So, we all have our own rakes. Of course, we have all kinds of machines these days, but at first we do it manually with these rakes. After a while, this middle part here wears down, which means you can no longer smooth the dirt evenly. So you plane it and make it flat again. Somebody hits a ball and it does a slightly irregular bound. Is that then something that will become the responsibility of the ground staff? I don't think the players are going to blame us for a bad hop, but we'll feel that it's something we could have prevented. Thank you very much. The groundkeeping crew meticulously maintain Korshien because they know how crucial it is to the dreams of the young players who come here. Next, we're going to take a look at why even the dirt of Korshien is special. Only by winning the prefectural qualifying tournament does a team earn the right to play at Korshien Stadium. And once there, if you lose, you're going home. <laughs> Players from the losing team gather up dirt from the infield as proof that they played on this hallowed ground. When they return to their schools, they pass some of this dirt on to the younger players. The dirt expresses the hope that the younger players too will someday reach the Korshien Championship themselves. The younger players spread the dirt on their school's own baseball field and rub it on their gloves, wishing for their baseball dreams to come true. This dirt reminds me to try hard to reach Koshiem. No matter how tough the practices are, I'm going to stick it out. The dirt from the Koshiem Stadium infield is said to drain water better than any other dirt in Japan. It creates an ideal surface for playing, not too hard or too soft. A dozen or so groundskeepers work throughout the year to maintain the dirt. The dirt of Koshien is a blend of various grades of earth and sand from all over Japan. Sand from Kyoto that drains well is mixed with black earth from Kagoshima that creates the perfect amount of moisture. These are blended in a balance that is constantly adjusted to suit the season and weather. Even though the dirt of Korshien has excellent drainage, heavy rain still means a game must be suspended. The groundskeeping crew covers the infield with a tarpaulin, spreads more dirt, and does whatever else is needed for the surface to be playable when the game restarts. The players hurl their bodies around the field with all their might. But they couldn't do it without unsung heroes like the groundskeepers. This is a Shinto shrine situated right next to Koshien Stadium. And it's another very special site for high school baseball players. These are all wooden prayer tablets that have been placed in offering. You'll see that most of them are shaped either like baseballs or like home base. Here's one 
praying to be able to take part in the tournament. Most of them say pretty much the same thing. This one, I think, is written by a player. And here's one written by the mother of one of the players, again, praying for her son to be able to take part in the tournament. You can see how serious everybody gets about this. This is Mr. Hidetoshi Hatanaka, who's the head priest of the shrine. Hello, nice to meet you. Konnichiwa. I've noticed all the prayer tablets over here. Has this shrine always been associated with baseball? Well, in the beginning, there was no god of baseball. And the shrine is actually dedicated to Susano no Mikoto, a powerful deity who defeated an eight-headed serpent. But Koshien Stadium is located within the shrine's defined district, so a lot of people started coming here to pray that they would get to play at Koshien. Eventually people began to think that the god of Koshien, or the god of baseball, is enshrined here. Okay, so the stadium next door is 80-something years, so you're quite a lot older than the stadium. Yes. And people think it's just a small shrine at the back of the stadium, but it was here first, and they built Koshien at the back of the shrine. Do you get to meet a lot of the people who come here? Or the mother of a player, or the wife of a coach, or people like that. I've seen them in here during their games, instead of going to the stadium and just pray the whole time. At the end of each game, you hear the siren signaling that the game has ended, and then these people just imagine that their team has won. I think they were too afraid to go and watch the game. Well, you just heard the kind of lengths that some people will go to, even pleading with the heavens to try to qualify for the tournament and to succeed in it. But only 49 schools teams get to play at Korshien every summer. That's about 900 players out of a total of 167,000. Most of the others, of course, never get here to Korshien at all. Next, though, we're going to meet somebody who still hasn't given up on his dream, even into middle age. June the 17th, 2007. A group of grown men begin showing up at Korshien Stadium. Today, they are going to fulfill their lifelong dream of playing here. My legs are shaking. Coming here, I feel like I'm back in high school again. It's great. This event is called Masters Korshien. It's been held since 2004 for those who dreamed of playing in the championship tournament but never could. Today, eight teams made up of former high school baseball players will take part. Most of them never made it to the championship in their high school days. One man already has tears streaming from his eyes before the game even begins. He's Tomohiro Maikawa. I didn't think he'd come. His son, Eisuke, is determined to see his father play, even shrugging off a fever to come and cheer him on. What do you hope to see your father do? Hit a home run. Mayakawa is serving as player manager of the Tennoji High School Old Boys team, which is representing Osaka Prefecture. It's a prestigious school founded more than 100 years ago. But in Maikawa's high school days, it had a weak baseball team. In Maikawa's final summer of high school, the team was knocked out in the first round of the regional qualifiers. He didn't even come close to his Korshien dream. He was away from baseball for 21 years. But even with his job as a judicial clerk, he found time to train daily for Masters Korshien, losing 13 kilograms along the way. His team got through in the highly competitive Osaka qualifiers, reaching Masters Korshien for the first time. The Tennoji High School team begins its game against Hiroshima Prefectural Hiroshima Technical High School, a baseball powerhouse whose high school team has been to the actual tournament nine times. Masters games have special rules. There is a time limit of 90 minutes and frequent batter changes so that everyone gets to bat. And each player gets only one at bat. Yeah. 
these men are in the venue they dreamed of as high school students, playing their hearts out. Their dirt-covered uniforms will become treasured mementos. Wearing number 30, Maekawa finally gets his turn at bat. With his son cheering him on despite his illness, Maekawa is desperate to get a hit. With only one at bat, it's do or die. He's trying too hard. But then, on the fourth pitch, hitting the ball at Korshien, his lifelong dream, but he fouls out. Maekawa wasn't able to put on an impressive show for his son, Aisuke. But his expression is still cheerful. How my worst habits came out. Trying to show off. That's just weak of me. In the end, Tenorji High School loses 8-5. But the dream Mayakawa chased in high school has been achieved today, 21 years after his graduation. Koshien Stadium, the place that high school ball players all across Japan dream of reaching. These days, the dream doesn't have to die just because your high school days have ended. As it turns out, Maikawa san's team made it to Masters Koshien again last year. Unfortunately, they lost again. Nevertheless, he still dreams of hitting a home run here and winning a game. Dream on, I say. Well, this summer, Koshien Stadium will erupt again with the passions of the high school players and their fans. Personally, I'm not that much of a baseball fan, but it's so easy to get sucked in with all of the enthusiasm surrounding high school baseball. I'll see you again next time. Japan is home to the largest planetarium in the world. Japan's planetariums have long been a place for children to learn, but they're now also attracting more adults. We'll look at some of their latest features. <laughs> 